2018, Illumination premiered a new screen adaptation of Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas. This animated children's movie, simply called The Grinch, quickly became the highest grossing Christmas film of all time, topping both Home Alone and the 2000 version of How the Grinch Stole Christmas, featuring Jim Carrey. This film featured an original score by Danny Elfman, in addition to a soundtrack which featured songs by Nat King Cole, Pentatonix, and Tyler the Creator? Ayo. Yep. It was a surprising collab, or at least seemed like it, considering Tyler's history of controversial and jarring lyrics. That is me putting it lightly. Regardless, Tyler was featured on the festive movie soundtrack twice. The first song was a collab with Danny Elfman, which re-envisioned Your Mean One, Mr. Grinch as a hip hop song. I feel like the song is about as good as you would imagine. It's essentially him rapping the original song's lyrics over a children's choir and a somewhat spooky sounding orchestra. He also adds one verse of his own. Illumination was not sneaking Tyler's credits into the movie. His version of Your Mean One, Mr. Grinch actually appeared in one of the film's trailers and appeared towards the beginning of the film over a scene where the Grinch was performing his morning routine. The second song that Tyler wrote and produced for The Grinch was a rap song called I Am The Grinch featuring Fletcher Jones. The song presents Tyler's iconic sound without being too watered down by PG guidelines, and it appears to be a fan favorite between the two. It consists of some catchy bars and melodies over a dynamic orchestra and some angelic backing vocals. It also draws attention to a lot of parallels between Tyler and The Grinch. The song is featured in the credits of the movie. Regardless of how good the two songs are, many of Tyler's fans found this to be an odd collaboration. He hadn't exactly built his brand around being family friendly, and at the peak of cancel culture, it seemed surprising that he would be chosen for this project. So why did Illumination choose Tyler the Creator for this animated Christmas movie? Well, the most recent movie that Illumination had put out prior to The Grinch was Despicable Me 3. Its soundtrack was composed by Pharrell Williams, who was also set to narrate The Grinch. Pharrell had a history of success with producing the soundtracks for the Despicable Me series. Remember Happy? Never gets old. So with the success of Pharrell's music and Illumination's latest film series, you could make the leap about why they'd want to give another popular artist a shot at the soundtrack of their next movie. Pharrell and Tyler had been closely associated since their first collab back in 2013, and at the time, Tyler was having massive success with his newly released album, Flower Boy. Compared to his previous albums, Flower Boy was his most mild album yet, and I would even argue that a lot of the instrumentals have a glowing, childlike quality. Even lyrically, some of the songs off of Flower Boy, like Boredom and Glitter, have hooks that are simple, innocent, and happy. All qualities that lend themselves well to Christmas music. If Illumination was looking to bridge the gap between rap music and Christmas music, Tyler's unique style was the way to go. That being said, my entire theory about Illumination using Flower Boy as the basis of their decision goes down the toilet if they had already been working on the soundtrack before Flower Boy even came out. If that's the case, then Tyler's most recent album at the time would have been Cherry Bomb, and no one in their right mind would have decided to base a children's movie soundtrack off the sound in that album. Or would they? The songs Okaga California and Find Your Wings off of Cherry Bomb do sound awfully similar in style to I Am The Grinch. Plus, listen to the first 10 seconds of Okaga California and tell me it doesn't sound like a Christmas song. Maybe someone at Illumination was just really into Tyler the Creator deep cuts and decided to present those two songs as the inspiration behind the future movie's soundtrack. I don't know. Regardless of their reasoning behind choosing Tyler the Creator for the soundtrack, 
It's hard to overlook the reasons they had for not choosing Tyler for the soundtrack. Those reasons basically being everything he did between the years of like 2008 and 2014. Saying he's grown and he's a different person now is a valid take, but it is a surprising take for a PR team to have about a children's movie they were getting ready to put out at the peak of cancel culture. It just seems like Illumination would have been more hesitant concerning potential parental backlash. But then again, with every audience you lose, there's another audience you gain. Tyler had a huge fan base, and he was set on putting out songs that would appeal to both the parents and the kids in the audience. So, was there backlash? From my research, Tyler's contribution to the soundtrack, while a bit surprising at the time, did seem well received. I guess there's not much to complain about when the songs are so wholesome and fitting for the movie. A week after The Grinch premiered in theaters, Tyler even went on to release a six-track EP called Music Inspired by Illumination and Dr. Seuss's The Grinch. It included songs such as Hot Chocolate, When the Gloves Come Off, and Cindy Lou's Wish, which I unironically listened to all year round. Two of the songs off the album even featured alternative pop singer Ryan Beatty, who I've literally been a fan of since I was like 13. So yeah, you should check out the EP. So like the Grinch himself, Tyler, the creator, went from making intentionally offensive, aggressive rap music to making melodic, family-friendly Christmas tunes. Maybe it was a metaphor all along. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and who you think Illumination's gonna hire for their next children's movie. If you're not already subscribed, I post a lot of music reviews and reactions, and I'm trying to get more scripted content up like this in the future. So hit that subscribe button. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all soon in the next video. Bye!